that song, I love that uh, story about uh, Jimmy Webb. I happened to read his um, autobiography over the summer. And uh, so, oh, you wanna? Yeah, I'm gonna, let me announce you. Cause, okay, so I've been listening to Dave's work for uh, a long time since I was in college. Cause he's a friend of, a college friend of mine and so forth. But uh, he's a really great singer and songwriter, and so we're honored to have him here tonight. Would you please welcome Dave Wilkie? So yeah, so um, Jimmy Webb. Uh, let's see, Cake Out in the Rain, and uh, he also wrote um, the balloon up, up and away balloon song. Wichita, 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 and Wichita. Lineman. Um, I was just talking with somebody the other day whose son was about to go to lineman school, and I said, oh, do you know Wichita Lineman song? She, she did not, so I turned around to that. Anyway, so um, I'm going to do the first, the, the first two songs are just one verse songs, um, uh, and I, I learned, well, the first one is uh, um, Woody Guthrie's Pastures of Plenty, and um, in Chronicles, Bob Dylan saw a book a couple years back. Uh, he talked about how he was obsessed with the song when he was an early folk singer. And, uh, and I was too. And, uh, but I came away, like I would rewrite uh, verses to it, and this is the one that I, I like. And then to uh, bring it into the Beatles anecdote early, um, uh, there was a story of uh, John and Paul on the bus crossing Liverpool. They, they knew the chord E and A, but they didn't know B7. And the highlight of this verse is the B7 in it. So uh, uh, here we go. Well, I sing this old song every time I play guitar. I like the melody. I like the chord changes. Society. And best of all is the pleasure of singing in a minor key. <laughs> one verse. Uh, this next one is uh, um, Emily Dickinson's uh, Wild Nights. And uh, does anybody know Wild Nights? Uh, well, I, I thought it was her most popular poem, but it um, turns out it's not even on the top ten. But I know that there was an opera written around it somehow. But it's a wonderful little, just a, like, five-line poem. And uh, here, here you go. females and they choose uh, the male by the strength of his croak. Um, and I also learned the summer uh, I was near a pond and I was hearing the uh, frogs croak. 
And it turns out they, they were pretty much done with it by the end of August, oh, sorry, July. And then, like, after that, like, it's just no croaking. Anyway, um, so of course, uh, we'll, we'll catch on with it. Um, here we go. Oh, and, and it's a, uh, let's see, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a appearance positive song. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm also a frog, hanging out with my friends on the log. I'm pretty, I croak in a chorus, I'm pretty, on a pond, in a forest, all dressed up in my bullfrog suit, come on. And also cute. Well, we're heading for oblivion. I'm a beautiful amphibian. Ooh. I'm a bullfrog and I like to eat bugs. I'm pretty well known for bugs.